Hey everybody, it's Teresa at Charlotte Sewing Studio. We'd like to welcome you to our winter class preview. We've got some great classes lined up for you, so we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi everyone, I'm Sue and I'm one of the instructors at Charlotte Sewing Studio. And today I'm gonna to show you the classes that I'm gonna be teaching for this upcoming quarter. First, I'm gonna be doing the um, little hanging tea towel. It's a, another quilt as you go project. Really sweet. You'll want to do these to match your kitchen for um, every season and for every holiday. Really fun to make. Um, the next thing is I had several ladies ask me to come up with um, projects for the vintage boardwalk designs. And so I put two um, of the designs together and came up with the pillow which has patchwork and the embroidery cording around it just really fun um, and then the next project I came up with is the table runner it has the same design on both ends and patchwork in the center and a bias um, binding around it lots of fun can't wait to use this this summer um, then we're going to go on to AccuQuilt, and AccuQuilt is going to be, January is everything potholders. Um, who doesn't need new potholders in their kitchen? So I've come up with several. You can do them all or just choose one that you'd like to do. I even came up with a cute little one that you could give for a hostess gift or um, something like that. You can put little kitchen tools in it, or your favorite recipe, but I thought that was really cute. And even a two-handed potholder mitt. And this is actually done out of the um, baby burp cloth dye. So that should be a lot of fun. In February, I came up with um, doing the um, microwave bowl cozy, a patchwork um, tea towel that has rickrack on both ends, and then this sweet little apron that is actually done out of a tea towel. Um, you can use your serger or sewing machine to ruffle the bottom. And I'll walk you through that. Um, lots of fun. Um, for March, I came up with using the new gnome guy, uh, dye, and it's known for Easter. Um, just a real cute little pillow, um, accent pillow for your house, and who doesn't need um, Easter decorations? And then in April, I came up with a project bag that is pieced down at the bottom and it actually is matching pouch to go with it for your scissors or whatever you need to carry that's a little sharp and need a little extra protection in that. So I think that will do it. Hope to see you in class. We will see you soon. I'm John. I'm teaching Edge to Edge on February 6th, it's a Saturday from 10 till 3, and what we're doing is we're doing similar to this. It's uh, edge to edge. As you can see, it's uh, the same thing as the long arm machine, but only using your embroidery machine. So if you would like, the best thing to do is do a panel it gives you all the instructions or we'll teach you how to do it without any problems. We will see you then. Thank you. Good morning. It's that time of year again to do our class previews. This quarter I'm doing something a little different. You all have heard of a block of the month. Well, we're not going to do that. I'm going to do a quilt of the month. So every month we're going to do a new quilt. And when you leave the class, you will have the top completely finished, so you will not go home with an unfinished project, at least for the top. All you will have to do is quilt it and put binding on. 
The first one in January is on January 27th, and I'm calling this the PDQ quilt. It's pretty darn quick. This one is going to be done with squares and strips. Very simple. I'm giving you fabric requirements for different two different sizes. This is the bigger size. And, sorry, this is the smaller size. They make great quilts for kids, for your community quilts at your quilt guild. This one comes out to be exactly what you need, 36 by 45 for a community quilt or a head start quilt or huggable quilts. So that's in January. February, we're going to play with panels. You're going to pick the panel of your choice. Sorry. And I'm going to help you through putting borders. We're going to work with half square triangles. We're going to perfect and get a perfect half square triangle. There's a couple of different ways to set it up, but this is the way I set mine up. And that one is on February 24th. Then on March 24th, we're going to redo the Let's Bind the Quilt class. I figure by that time, you might have these first two quilted and ready to put binding on. We're going to work on binding with the flange. We're going to work on your general regular binding and how to sew that on by machine. And then we're going to work on a double-sided binding. So if, say you're making a table runner that's Christmas on one side, Easter on the other side, you have a binding that matches both sides of your quilt. That's March 24th. Then March 31st, we're going to do another quilt. This one I call Stack Em Up. It's just basically strips and background fabric. And it, it goes really quick. As you can see, this one's larger. This is a larger throw, but you will have this top finished, completed when you leave the class on March 31st. Then we're gonna do one last quilt in April. And this one is the end of April. It's, I call it Jelly Roll Races, which has been around for many, many years. You're just going to take your jelly rolls, sew them together end to end, and then we're going to continue. With, we don't do any cutting whatsoever. We just start sewing those strips together. And again, this is a, a, a lap size quilt and you will have this top finished when you leave at the end of the day. If you have any questions, ask anybody here at the store. I will have supply lists telling you exactly what you need to complete your quilt. Thank you, have a good year, and everybody stay safe and healthy. Hi, my name is Renita, and here I am another year at the Charlotte Sewing Studio, and I'm excited to offer you some new classes. Starting in January, we're gonna have a class called Let's Make Braids. This is a very simple braiding class and there's so many opportunities to make a variety of things. This is one I just started last week. And we're doing braids down the side with some on point triangles. Gives you a different look. And then another way of doing braids is this one here, which I've used some gradient material. You can see it's gone from light to dark. We don't have those middle points, but a very fast way to make braids. Margaret's going to help me and I'll show you that I put together a quilt, created a quilt, using those gradient braids right down here in these columns and it really makes for something interesting and wild. So this class here is in January and it's on two days, January 13 and January 20. Okay, coming up for February, I've chosen some seasonal skinnies called Flamingo Island. And we have three different skinnies. We've got a cute flamingo, we've got a pineapple, and we have a nice hibiscus table runner. And what I've done is here's my pineapple, and I'm thinking of embroidering the word welcome here and making it to hang on my front door. For my hibiscus, I made the pattern a lot longer so I could make myself a nice long table runner. And the fun thing you can also do with these is, again, Margaret, if you'd be so kind, is I took last year some um, another seasonal skinny kit for nutcrackers and I made a quilt using the skinny. So it's another way, rather than just having a table run or a wall hanging, you can make something a little more useful. Now this class here is uh, going to be in February. It's on February 10 and 17. 
My next class is called Beginner Paper Piecing. And at this class, which is very simple piecing, we're going to be working on this cute little sunflower design. Uh, it can either be a table run or three blocks or four blocks. So the four blocks can be put in a square if that's the kind of tabletop you'd like. And this class will be held on Saturday, February 27, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now coming up in March, I'm going to use my favorite twister tool and it's called Let's Twist Again. And what we're going to make is placemat with matching table run, uh, matching napkin, excuse me. We also have a table runner. And here's what I made with a little corner spot here to catch a napkin. This was a two-sided napkin with a nice border. And I did with some kids' materials. You'll see I've got cute little frogs here. And over here, I've got all the little bugs and lizards that I thought kids would really enjoy doing. Uh, this is a very easy class. Uh, fun fabrics really makes it nice. And this class will be on March 3rd. And then coming up in April, I'm doing a quilt. It's called Up a Lazy River. And it's basically some really cute, funky fish. Uh, this was fat quarter and scrap friendly because you can put the fish together with any colors and even if you mix them up it'd be kind of different. Obviously your fish can swim any way you want. Mine are going in the same direction because they're in school today. And then I also did some variegated blues to simulate the water. Now this class I scheduled for four sessions because my plan is we start it in class and hopefully we can finish it in the class rather than starting and going home and trying to finish it on your own, you have questions. So this class is April, the four Fridays, April 2, 9, 16, and 23. And in addition, thank you, Margaret, to these special classes, I still have my Thursday class every Thursday from 10 to 1 uh, called Create with Renita, and we make all kinds of fun stuff, and it's a very social group as well. So that's what I have for this coming session, and I hope that you'll sign up for my classes and my colleagues, and remember classes fill up quickly. And I want to thank you for making the Charlotte Sewing Studio your one-stop shop for all your sewing, quilting, and embroidery needs. Thank you. Hi, I'm Margaret Lobianco. I'm happy to be here at the Charlotte Sewing Studio to teach some more classes in the upcoming year. Um, I enjoy making my own patterns, so I kind of consider myself more of a fiber artist. One of my new patterns that I've developed is this Seize the Day quilt. This has been developed as a block of the month quilt, and I'll be teaching it over three sessions in January. So the classes will run January 15th, 22nd, and 29th. In these three day sessions, we're going to learn several different techniques. We'll be doing the paper-backed fusible applique, and we're going to learn how to do a lot of three-dimensional touches, which is my shtick. I love adding three-dimensional elements to quilts. They make them very interesting, they make an impact, and they really draw a person in to add interest. In this quilt here, we have some three-dimensional flowers, we have yo-yos, we have beautiful prairie points with embellished with decorative stitches, just to name a few. And there's trims and ribbons also that add nice accents to this piece. Now down at the bottom here with this cute little turtle, we're gonna learn how to make three-dimensional hexagons. These are not uh, English paper piece hexagons. It's another technique. A nice way to finish off and add an accent to a project is also piping. So we'll be learning how to do that as well. Um, seize the day. This pattern is actually a seven set pattern. In the class, we will be learning how to do the blocks but once um, you get home and you have extra time after completing this project, there's going to be some other projects that are included in the pattern. One of them, which echoes the uh, beautiful seahorse, is this seahorse piece. It uh, features the prairie points using several different varieties of that technique. Um, here's another bonus project. It's a reversible apron, and this is using the beautiful crab block, using the three-dimensional prairie points, and this one's done in a Christmas motif reversible with just a fun fabric on the back to make it good for year-round use. The next class that I'm going to be teaching is called Tropicalicious Dresdens. Now these Dresdens aren't old-fashioned Dresdens. These have a whole new slant on them. They're bright, colorful, and fun, and they really have a wonderful impact on this quilt. The Dresdens are, again, um, featuring some three-dimensional elements. I've got ruching, 
fabric flowers, and yo-yos. Some of Prairie Points are also, and rickrack, adding some 3D elements to that Dresden plate. In the class, we're going to be doing a smaller version of this with just the one flamingo and a set of Dresdens. You're gonna learn how to make all the Dresdens, make the Dresdens of your choice to put on your wall hanging. And the wall hanging for the, the class in the smaller version will be about 24 inches by 38 inches. This is a bigger variation. And in the pattern for this, which I've also designed, this is my newest and hot off the press, not even quilted yet. This also will be made into a queen size quilt the full feature wall hanging, smaller wall hanging, and then there'll be some pillows also. Instructions included for, for the Dresden plate. This class will be in February. It'll run for two full days, and it'll be February the 19th and 26th. So I hope you'll come and have fun and make some tropicalicious Dresdens. This quilt is called This Quilt's a Gem. This is a example of foundation strip piecing. It is a very easy and stress-free quilt method and you get the gem effect from using colors in variation of tone. From going from light to dark you get this gem look in the center. This will be a one-day class. You're going to learn a little bit about color and you'll learn how to do the foundation strip piecing. Uh, it's for quilters of all levels and it's a one-day class. It'll be done on March the 26th, so I hope you'll have fun Come to make this quilt with me. I'm Gail Frank, and I'm going to be teaching and talking about different quilting and sewing techniques. You'll notice I'm going to do machine applique, paper piecing, mitered borders. We'll talk about needles and pins and making piping for your quilts. So there'll be many, many different kinds of uh, tools and so forth that we'll, we'll be talking about as we continue through the next few months. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and happy holidays. We've got some really uh, fun projects coming up uh, for the uh, winter. Uh, the first one that you're seeing over here is called Solar Flare and it is um, put together with 48 two and a half inch strips. So you could buy the strips and um, you could make it bigger if you want. Uh, it, this happens to be a 72 by 72. <clears throat> if you made it bigger, uh, you could uh, just add on to these uh, little fan uh, blocks. I um, would teach you how to do the paper piecing. You see the floating points here. I would also uh, be able to help you with the template layout sheets and how to cut the fabric. It's a quick, easy project and um, it is offered January 25th and 26th. Now the next uh, quilt that we're, I'm going to be uh, teaching is also a Judy Niemeyer and it is called Tarnished Windmill. And Tarnished Windmill is uh, just a 60 by 60 quilt. There's a lot of lift, uh, different blocks. For instance, this is a Lone Star block. This is a kind of, of a more like um, New York Beauty and um, even a little bit of uh, Mariner's Compass in there. And this one would be February 8th, 9th, and then I'd give you about two weeks, and then you, on the 22nd, we would uh, at least try to get one block together or one wedge together so that you could easily do the rest of the project. Now the next quilt that I'm going to show you that I'll be teaching is Fractured Star. And Fractured Star is again using 48 two and a half inch strips. And you notice that these are all the same kind of blocks. The fabrics of course are just different because of all the 48 choices. Uh, it can also be made into a queen size. This happens to be an 80 by 80. 
but you could just go and you take one of these blocks and you just add it to the next uh, outside and it just gets bigger and bigger. It's a fun project as well. Uh, it's only a two day class because this is all you're learning how to do. And even though it is, uh, looks a little bit like a Lone Star, it's very, very easy to put together hardly any matching scenes. So it won't take you that long to uh, finish it up. And it is offered on March 8th and March 9th. The next project I have is called Lakeshore Snowfall. Lakeshore Snowfall it can be a table topper or it can be a tree skirt. If you have the nerve to cut uh, the, the quilt uh, after it's quilted, put a hole in the center, use it for a tree skirt. It's a nice big tree skirt because it is um, a 62 oct octagon, which uh, has several different um, blocks in it. You've got the New York Beauty again. You have this block in it. You've got this. There's a lot of different things that you'd be working on. Again, floating points and all the special techniques and things that of a Judy Niemeyer pattern. And um, I offer that on a three uh, for three days, and that would be March 15th, 16th, and March 29th. See, I give you a couple of almost two weeks to uh, work on it, and we would at least get one wedge completed. Some of the people finish the whole project in that time uh, because it's just, you know, once you do one, you can do seven more just like it. So th that is um, a fun, quick project and you'd have plenty of time before the next holiday to get it completed if you wanted to make it into a holiday uh, tree skirt. Okay, so the last one that I'm going to be uh, teaching is called Baby Bella. Now, Baby Bella is just a cute little quilt. Goes together very quickly, so obviously it would be only a two-day class. And um, you see this, I would teach you how to do, and they're all the same. Then you've got a small little Lone Star going on here, and of course then the border. And it is um, a 36 by 36. So if you've got um, a special little um, person coming into this world, maybe you would like to make uh, a baby Bella. Or again, it's just a cute little uh, topper for a table. I'm offering that on April 12th and 13th. So I hope that from these five projects, you can find at least one that you might like to make. They're all projects that can be done very quickly. And um, again, uh, learn the Judy Niemeyer technique, learn how to do the cutting for using template sheets and just kind of getting used to the Judy Niemeyer terminology and that will help you in doing many, many more patterns of Judy Niemeyer. Thank you very much. Have a great holiday and I hope to see you next year. Hello, my name is Julie from Charlotte Sewing Studio and I'm here today to present my uh, next quarter's uh, classes. So I always like to start off talking about the perfect tea which really isn't a typical t-shirt, it's more of a top. And I do all the fitting on it and, and hopefully you come out with a wonderful t-shirt that fits and is very comfortable. So I address full bust and I address high round in the back or forward shoulder. And most of, I would say 99% of the people come out happy with their top. So that's pretty good percentage. Uh, the next thing I do for fitting is the helix pant. I have one version of the helix pant on. This is another version. 
Uh, and if, as we go down, I'm going to talk to you about all the different styles of helix pants coming from that one pattern. The helix pant is a pattern that we use just for fitting, so I think you would enjoy it. All right, so now I'm going to start off with our monthly classes. We're going to start off with a workshop. It's a jean jacket workshop. It's going to take two days to do because of the fitting and the details and the top stitching on it in order to get it to look good and you don't have to, you're not on your own at home to finish it up. So that is January 7th and 8th. Then on January 13th, let me turn her around. We're going to embellish the jacket, so the back as well as the front, and that'll take a day to do that. And if you need extra time in finishing your jacket, you could do it then too. And then also, embellish pant is the next day to go with the jacket. And if you want to, if you don't want to do a ready uh, a made pant, you could always bring in another pant to do. So, but I like the idea of it coordinated. And then we have the Dreamer top and pant. And it's kind of more of a casual look. It's done on French terry and it has a rib neckline to it. And I did use the cover stitch machine, but you could use a twin needle if you'd like to do some of the detail work on it. And then here's the helix pant. We're turning into a no seam on the side pant and a different band at the, at the waistline. And some people like the jogger look, so I added the jogger look to it. If you don't like the jogger look, we just won't put it on. All right, so that's the Dreamer top and pants, um, the embellished pant, and I forgot to tell you about this one. If you want to do a capri length pant, you certainly can, and I have a different design for that as well. So, but that's still on that same day, uh, January 14th. All right, so January t-shirt of the month is January 6th, and it's using the hand look top um, pattern that we used last quarter, and we're changing it around and making it into a new uh, design. So we're going to use the same design pack, but different design, and making it into that um, t-shirt of the month. Of course, I have to have a jacket to go with it. So the jacket is a hooded jacket, has the design similar to it on the back, and then another design that goes all the way in the front and circles the hood. So that's another cute look to go with this. And some people say, well, I want it plain. Then you could do it plain as well. But that's a nice jacket pattern. You'll love using that. The next one in January is Pat's Top. And Pat's Top is uh, stems from the Perfect Tee. I changed the sleeve to make it look a little different. We have a floating pocket. And then the design detail on the side it's called a waterfall, so we have two little waterfalls on each side, but it's very becoming because it creates that vertical line. All right, and then next, I think this is, yeah, that's February. That, the Helix Pant is in February. So now we're going to move on to February, and February's T-shirt of the month has been very popular. Um, so we do have an overflow class for this one. It's using denim looking flowers and it just it's the black and the denim always looks good together. And let's go to this one next. This is palms are always popular and we're, this design comes from Charlotte Sewing Studio. It's an exclusive design and we're going to do the palms across as a yoke. Then, if you have time, or if you'd like to take stitching with Julie the next day, you could always do the pants that are bordered as well. And you know how I like to have things that match. February the 11th goes along with this shirt. Now, do you have to wear them together? It looked look nice worn together, but you could put on a denim shirt with that, and that would look absolutely gorgeous but we're gonna embellish the 
pair of jeans to go with the shirt or with something else that you have. All right, also in February, we have the cape tunic, taking the perfect tee and doing an overlay for the, the cape style. It's very becoming on and it hides a lot of things that you don't want to show, just saying. So, and then we're gonna do the color block tunic. The color block tunic is done in such a way that it creates a line all the way across to the cuff of the sleeve. So it, it's more becoming. And the sleeve itself is a little different because it has a slit in the sleeve cuff. And I'm gonna show you how to do top stitching on a knit so it comes out wonderful. And you'll like this new technique. All right, and then Valentine's Day is coming up pretty soon in February, so we're gonna do this Valentine top that you could wear actually all year long. So it's a, another exclusive design only for uh, Charlotte Sewing Studio, but you will love this top. And last but not least in February is the scallop top and pant, February 17th. And the scallops are actually done in the design, uh, in the uh, embroidery unit. The sleeves, the neckline, as well as these legs in, in the embroidery unit. And the scallops come out perfect. And that's the whole idea of doing it in the embroidery unit. So you would like that as well. And while we're still in February, I actually have January and February's embroidery club. This one is reverse applique, and it's going to need a good design, and we're going to use that for uh, January 19th Embroidery Club. And then February 26th, we're doing a Tallulah Pink design. So, <coughs> now anytime you do an embroidery club and you don't want to do something on a shirt, you could make anything you want. It's all about technique and learning different techniques to make your embroideries come out better. Okay, so then the next thing is March. And I'm gonna start with Mix It Up. Mix It Up is gonna be a, a one day class with Stitching with Julie the next day because you can choose between this little jacket, this little top that has a, a an off the shoulder, not off the shoulder sleeve, but a drop shoulder. These little pants with a lower pocket to it. And if you, I have lots of, lots of options. You can do this neckline using your perfect T. And that's the same hooded jacket over there. If you didn't get a chance to do that jacket, this one comes, you're going to do a lined hood with that one. So you have lots of options to do. <coughs> then the next thing is take, if this looks familiar, this design pack, I've used it in so many different ways this time. It's just beautiful, I think. But we're gonna take a denim shirt, cut the back off, cut the sleeves off, and I'll show you how to do all of it. And so we're gonna do a knit sleeve and a knit back, and then we're gonna do the designs on it. So you don't really have to make the the shirt you really the the hard parts already done for you all right and then March the 5th again we're taking our perfect tee changing it making a princess line to it and it has a little slit two little slits in the front and a pleated uh, sleeve and this is the hooded top it has a, a little hood makes it more casual to wear and it looks really great with a lot of different items. And the next one is called the Sidekick Pleat Plant. It's a tongue twister, um, March 19th. And we're taking the Helix Pant, doing a um, Sidekick Pleat. And it looks great with this top, as well as this little jacket over here. So it's more of a mix and match type product that you can uh, make it over and over again and this is t-shirt of the month for March it has a diagonal line 
still using that same Hand Look 2 design pack to get more use out of that design pack, but it's done in a different way. Uh, and I know a lot of people ask me about these pants and I didn't put it on the schedule, but you can do it in uh, Stitching with Julie if you like. And Knot It Up, it's March 4th, comes right after T-shirt of the month. And Perfect Tea again, new variation. It has a knotted uh, sleep cuff as well as a knotted yoke. And it's taking our Perfect Tea again and turning it into a little jacket. And I'm going to show you how to do it, but it really comes out really cute. And then you can make that same jacket again and embellish it with a, a new design from the exclusive uh, design from Charlotte Sewing Studio. So March 25th is the embellished, and March 24th is the little jacket. All right, now April. April 8th is the twisted yoke top, and again, taking that perfect tee, doing another variation to it, and changing the look again. And to me, that makes that pattern so useful. Once you get the fit of the perfect tee, you can redo it different ways. And of course, I'd love to help you do it. So, talking about redoing the perfect tee, I actually did one it's called changing directions and we have a sleeve that's all one piece um, and it's done on the diagonal so it creates a chevron and I'm going to show you how to do stripes that are perfectly matched and I have a certain technique that you'll absolutely love to do. But if you look at those stripes in the back as well as the front and the sides with a knit especially and having it match that's amazing. All right, and then last but not least, it's called the palm frond top, and we took, I took one little design and changed it and multiplied it and did a top that's done on the diagonal, and the inspiration for it was this fabric, so I had something to go with those pants, so just make a little top to go with it. So that concludes my uh, presentation for January, February, March, and April. Thank you for joining us for our winter class preview. We hope you enjoyed the class presentation. If there's a class that interests you, please call the store at 941-235-3555 and we'll get you signed up. Just as a reminder, we are following CDC guidelines, so we are requiring that you wear a mask when you come to the store, and class sizes will be limited, so we please once again sign up quickly. And we hope to see you in the new year.